All right, we are recording again. Hopefully the streaming started again. Um, and uh, if not, we'll just we'll keep recording. Um, but yeah, we were we were talking here about Navern and Alice. It looks like it is working now. Yeah. Okay, we're Probably back live. live. Again. Great. So that so nice. that stopping starting back. did right. work. Um, Classic so computer fix. Looks turning off and turning <laughs> on again. Stopping tried, and started again. <laughs> you tried turning it off and on again. Um, image of a Dark Lord came down. We were just discussing Neighbor and Ellis, and Reed thinks they are ruined games, and I think a lot of people agree with him. I know uh, Tom Kelly wants a shield against them. Um, I think I think Tom there are Kelly answers. Tom wants a shield against them. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, uh, I think there are answers. I think Insurrections played a lot. I think uh, there are cancelers. It, it's I a was hit. watching it earlier, and and, uh, I got bored. Uh, and, and he, he looked at the Hujiks turn one with rescue in the clouds and chose not to take it, even knowing knowing that he's going to play Shmi by herself alone. Then it's kind of on him. Um, so and and knowing that Black okay. Sun plays even, at least one or two. Even even that, like, don't you don't you still think that's just too bad though that players it have would to have make been, that it, decision because of such a broken card from 1995? I think I think we have adequate answers. I think it would have been great if that Ellis didn't happen. Yeah, Shmi took a took an 11 overflow from an Ellis on turn two, um, and so we're discussing whether Ellis should just be completely neutered. Um, yeah, yeah, via shield. Or what about a sweet immediate effect that you could pull with Don't Do That? Yeah. But then that Where would, are you taking this thing? But then they would have to use a shoe pull and an extra slot in their deck. And that's and a fair cost. If, yeah. All right. Uh, I, think that's I mean, I'd cost. be fine with that being remade. That's another answer. Then, but remade? people would still lose to it. Remade? Is like it? Is it still remaker? a card? Is it? Was it made post reset? No. I, okay, I, that's what I thought. Yeah. If if uh, if that card came back. This, this USA Gamer Girl says, I don't know, I think being able to punish hiding people at non-battlegrounds is fine. Yeah. Um, by losing the game? All right, yep. You deserve to lose the game I, by having Shmi at the slave quarters. There are answers. Because you left someone vulnerable when you shouldn't have. I'm okay with that, yep. Um, you know, even if that counter was made, people would still nabberin and then people would still complain and it'd be like oh what about this answer even if a shield was there all right so here comes an on the edge he's going to retrieve secret plans is out even if the sh yeah b fred says maybe if you could play it as a response because otherwise people won't have the shield out and then someone will nabrin and they can't battle that turn or something if the shield goes down to the control was the last card he got back yeah, so a shield that I think plays as a response and they too. can't battle he, that turn. I think he uh, only called yeah. five and retreated five and drew the seven. Maybe he just he didn't have a ton of extra force. And now he's going, oh, and there's the imbalance. And yeah. imbalance makes no, him lose must three. must retrieved six, so yeah, yeah. And Tom has the imbalance. Um, yeah, that would be, what if that, it did that? He played a shield in response to one and two, and then they can't battle that turn. What's the guy's in average? Yeah, it was six, and, and he lost three with imbalance, and... Uh, I didn't hear your dream card, Brian. So. <laughs> Brian Fred starting no a dream, dream card cards, commentary. He's <laughs> Those go in the specific forum. <laughs> Those go in a specific commentary, not this one? <laughs> Brian Fred conceded that Nabern and Ellis are great because we didn't listen to his dream card because we got distracted by the actual game. Uh, and so what happens? So hate has not gone to space. No one's gone to space because we're still only on like turn four. Because it th basically the whole game went like this: three free Vigos, move over, flip. Light side goes Smee. Dark side goes Ellis over, peel eleven, move out to the farm. Light side goes Luke. He gets stuck, and they go Padme, um, whatever. Dark side goes Ellis away, move some dudes, shadow ping. Light side goes solo, attempt to Nabrin, fail uh, because of sense, double sense, stopping control. Um, dark just goes drain ping, drain ping. Um, light goes retrieve with on the edge. That's that's the whole game to this point. So I didn't see what happened to the on the edge, but I think it got buried. I think it's in the lost pile, and it got buried by the force loss from uh, imbalance combo. Yes, and that that is incorrect. You guys did the same thing. Imbalance combo is a response to the retrieval. Say so they lose three while on the edge is still pending, and then it goes on top of the force loss from the imbalance. Here goes another Ellis. Uh, third. 
third played Ellis' game to the JCC. So now he's going to pay to drain three, and then probably pay to drain one, pay to drain one. Um, Reed Smith is tilted by the by this next Ellis, and he he uh, forcefully put his headset down and uh, took off. He's he, Reed Smith is tilted about Ellis being a card that's that's a good card. <laughs> it's, it's been played three times this game. Wants to wants to beat up Shmi, wants to run away dudes, and wants to spread to drain. And Salucci offers a handshake. That's he's he's taken too much damage from these drains and shadows ping, and all his dudes are stuck without the Nabra and nothing nothing he can do. So Tom Hade played that masterfully, and um, he yeah, I'm sure plenty of people will complain about Ellis and Shields, and we'll have more talk about that. Uh, you you heard us talk about it. I. I think there's answers. Reed Smith is giving a big thumbs down, but uh, I uh, overall I think Tom Hade played that well. He played the first game great and very much deserved the win. So congratulations to Mr. Tom Hade, and uh, I, I love that we saw two very creative deck builders in the finals. We we see this Yane deck, which is crazy and and didn't perform great this game. Um, because of that, Ellis, but you should go, if you haven't seen him, go watch the two earlier games where it played against CTO, and, and specifically the Black Sun earlier against Reed, where Slucci was able to just get that engine going and swap and manipulate cards and do really cool tricks. Um, so, yeah, creative deck builders in Slucci and Tom Hade. Yesterday, if you saw his deck, a Court of the Vile Gangster trooper beatdown that was just insane, and, of course, his his fairly creative Diplo that B. Fred said he's immediately going to copy with all the leaderships and Radis for the non-unique Corvette, and... Uh, very, very cool decks, very cool games. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed these last two uh, two games of or two days of commentary. And uh, go post on the forums any feedback you have about the commentary or the event. Any thoughts? Hopefully, we will see all of you guys at Worlds, uh, which is October fourth that weekend. Um, and information for that is on the on the forums. And in the upcoming major events section, uh, go online, play on GIMP. There's two months left, August and September, for the online championship series where you can qualify uh, to be in the top 16 online players play in that tournament. Uh, go play Star Wars, get involved in the community. We love having you guys around. Thanks for watching the stream. Looks like we're up to 64 here for the, the end of the finals, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and I'm sure more will be watching later on YouTube. So uh, thanks, thanks for everything. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you guys later.